Dr. Michaels is giving Jennifer a sedative. Well, the only reason she needs a sedative is because she knows her baby's alive, even though everybody's telling her he's dead. Keep your voice down. It's just so hard seeing her with him today. You know why I did this. No, we, we did this. We are in this together. And I will keep my promise. I'm not going to say anything to her. But you need to rethink this. I thought she was getting better. That she was happy. Oh, your sister isn't happy. You have to tell her. How do you want me to do that, huh? What do you want me to say to her? If only Gwen had gotten custody. Well, she didn't. Which means Rory is going to be growing up here in this town. And Jennifer is going to be running into Carly and the baby constantly, just like she did today. I mean, do you want her to go through that agony again and again? You have got to tell her the truth, Paul. Tell her tonight. All right, count to five when you inhale, and then exhale and count to five again. Okay. My, my heart hurts. Doctor, what's happening? What's going on, Lynn? She's going into an ambulance. Call 911. Jennifer? I want you to take hold of my hand, and together we are going to slow down that breathing. I know you can do it. Oh. She's, she's going to be okay. She has to be okay. Yes, hello. This is an emergency. I think my daughter's having a heart attack. Make your towers. Please hurry. My daughter could be dying. What's the problem? There's an accident on the interstate. They don't think they can get an ambulance here for at least 10 more minutes. Okay. Paul, there should be a defibrillator downstairs. Right. I'm sure the hotel desk can locate it for you. We need to get it uh, out here. I'll move over right now. Excuse me. What are you doing? No, what are you Paul, doing? Paul, 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 Jennifer? They're trying to calm her down right now. Should we, should we call Will? Oh, no, no, not until we know more. Jennifer was having chest pains. Everything happened very fast. There was an incident, and I called Dr. Michaels. She came over. She gave her a sedative, but it didn't seem to be helpful. Why was at all. Jennifer so upset? It was about the baby. The baby? What about the baby? Carly was at the lake with the kids, including the baby that they took in. Yeah, Jennifer thought the baby was hers. Yeah. She picked up the baby. And when we tried to separate her from... What? What did she do? She just kept claiming it was hers. She's just very distraught about her own child. She's not rational at all. She's upset about the death of her own baby. And that's why she's acting so crazy, right, Paul? She's not crazy. We have something that we need to tell you. No, not now. I need to see Jennifer right away. You can't do that, Dr. Michaels. I need to her. see Dr. Michaels, too. She needs to know what she's dealing with. Jennifer's life could depend on it. What is that supposed to mean? How is she? She's being monitored, and she is breathing a little more easily. But I'm still very concerned. Her heart rate is dangerously elevated, despite everything we've done. I think I know why that is. There's a chance that Jennifer could be on methamphetamines. What? That's not possible. That is ridiculous, and I can't believe for a second that you would believe Dusty Donovan. He came to me with those same accusations. Oh, Dusty told you that Jennifer was on drugs? If when? it's true, Dr. Michaels, it would explain why her heart is racing. Yes, it would, and I will call the cardiologist and order a tox screen immediately. Thank you for the information. It's a waste of time. This is impossible. How long have you known about this? Jennifer huh? is not on drugs. It's impossible. I knew something was off when I saw her at the cash machine. She said her card wasn't working. She was desperate for money. I gave it to her. Why would she be desperate for money? Because Dusty was right. She needed the cash to buy drugs. I knew something was wrong. That's why I came up to the suite. I had to talk to her, even though you didn't want me. What did she say to you? She denied everything. I didn't buy it. I just wanted to believe she was going to be okay. We all want to believe that, Hal. Well, she's not okay. Hey, is she? I just hope to God we haven't waited too long. Why didn't you tell me? My sister's on drugs. You don't even tell me. Al, oh, I can't get Jennifer to confirm what she's taken or how much. And the sooner we know, would you try to get through this? I'm 
Michaels is trying to help you. You know that, don't you? And I'm going to ask you a question. And I need you to be completely honest with me. Okay? Okay. You know what it is I'm about to ask you, don't you? I would do, do it once just to get through the pain. I did this, Jen. I pushed you too hard after the baby died. No, Mom, no, you, you didn't do anything wrong. Really, you didn't. Jennifer, were you taking antidepressants along with the meth? Keeping that fact from her slipped over to the drugs in the first place. Oh, we don't know that. 
We knew she was grieving. And now she's spiraling out of control, and so that is our to, fault. You want me to tell the truth now? Now, now when she's coming off of a crystal meth binge, do you have any idea what kind of effect that could have on her? So what do we do now? We wait. We wait until she gets better. If she gets better. Just wanted to protect her. And that's all that this is about, is protecting her. 